Here with Reaction, Trump legal uh, spokesperson Alina Hobb is back with us. All right, so here we are, 203 days uh, before the election, eight years later. Statute of limitations have passed. They upgrade a misdemeanor and try and use a federal crime to, to, to charge Trump. Um, your reaction to all of it? I think there's a couple facts that the American people need to know. You mentioned that Cy Vance didn't bring this case because he knew it was a loser case. The statute of limitations had run, and it was based on the now debunked former attorney, Michael Cohen. So, what ends up happening, Sean? Let's talk about a key part of history here. President Trump announced that he was running for office again. And sure enough, DA Bragg indicts. You just played uh, DA Bragg's video footage, much like Miss James, who you and I have spoken many times about, who are these Soros-backed, politically motivated people, who come out and say, I know Trump well, I'm going to do it again. I did the Trump case. I did that case. Listen, Judge Mershon, Sean, the judge that's hearing this, did the Alan Weisselberg case, put him in jail, not once, twice. You know who else Judge Mershon's having? Steve Bannon. He has Steve Bannon's case. This is no coincidence. And the American people need to know. And for the next six weeks, I assure you, I will be loud and clear about what is going on here. This is political. It's election interference. You're not even allowing a father, never mind a former president, but a father attend his son's graduation. And let's not forget Passover. OK? Observant Jews have a right to go and, and, and pray to who they want and observe Passover. And this judge would not allow it, not for any of the attorneys. And there are observant uh, Jewish attorneys on the Trump team and as well on the DA team. It's just a sad state of affairs for the American people. I can assure you of that. Well, I mean, I've said I don't believe the president can get a fair trial in New York, D.C., Fulton County, Georgia. I just don't believe it's possible. And if Democrats and, and these radical prosecutors have their way, all these trials would take place, and he'd be in a courtroom the entire 203 days leading up to the election. That's, that's the America we're going to live in? Yeah, that is. And meanwhile, Hunter Biden hasn't seen a courtroom other than for when his plea agreement fell through because the judge read the fine print and saw that he was going to get immunity. You know, not even allowing a person due process the right to go sit in front of the Supreme Court and hear a case that determines many lawsuits that are currently against President Trump on immunity, on grounds for immunity. Let's not forget something here, Sean. President Trump was in Washington when this case was going on. When this is happening, when somebody made a notation in an accounting record at Trump Organization, he was in Washington taking care of this country. The absurdity is beyond. And I'm going to be talking about it loud and clear so that everybody knows how corrupt New York State has become. All right, Alina, we'll be updating people throughout the trial. Thank you for being with us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.